When I think about leaving my legacy, I think about leaving music that's just timeless, you know, that can be played from generation to generation. I remember sitting back after I wrote everything, I just said to myself, I finally did it. I wanted to show my true colors with full-on production, which is, for me, everything that I want to accomplish as a producer. So we are at Time Warp New York. It's my second time playing in Time Warp. Um, it's always special, something crazy. I never thought I'd play this, but um, I guess dreams come true sometimes, right? So this is how it pretty much started, like I said, with this synth. And then I just started building the fundamentals, you know, kick drum behind it, hi-hat, second hi-hat, and most of that is the 909. I like to just stick to the originals, like all the, you know, proper drum machines. Um, and then I started coming in with like a few extra synths like this, which this inspired the bass line that I wrote. So that synth inspired this sound. And I just doubled it pretty much. And then the moving force behind it is this arpeggiated sound. Which I wanted to create like, I, I knew that there was going to be a vocal on it the minute I started writing parts like that. So like I wanted atmosphere behind my vocal. I wanted the vocal to feel big, dramatic, and almost make you feel lost in a big, big 90s vibe for me. I'm a big 90s fan. I was born in the 90s. And um, the minute I wrote this, I knew what I wanted from the music video to everything. I knew the vibe that I was going for already. Now in this part, I remember, I remember writing this and um, it was coming time to sing it. Um, I was scared to wake everyone up in the house. I didn't want to, you know, start like screaming or anything. So I remember like being very subtle with my voice and it actually worked in my, my favor. Like it didn't, you know, I didn't come out yelling or anything like that. It just worked. <laughs> And then the day after, this track took me like maybe, I finished everything in one day and then I made changes the following day. I remember asking my dad if he could come down and sing the harmonies for me. So the next day my dad came down and he sang his harmonies. <laughs> Which for me, it's like, it's really surreal to go upstairs and ask your dad to sing a harmony for you, you know? In my opinion, this is probably the most versatile record I've written to date. Um, it shows like my true colors from being from New York originally and and showing like how I grew up listening to house and dance music. Might not be techno, which that's fine. I just wanted to show another side of myself. 